36 teams, one cup. The rules are simple. We will spin a wheel of the top 36 all-time college basketball teams, and then we will spin an arrow to see which direction they will be headed. For example, if the wheel lands on the Gonzaga Bulldogs, if the arrow points east, they will be claiming Idaho, but if the arrow points south, they will be playing the Oregon Ducks. The winning team will steal a player. We will also have power-ups. The first power-up is Extra Life, where a team will gain an extra life. The second is Dual Thief, where a team will steal two players from their opponent if they win. And our consequence is Benched, where a team's top player will be benched for one game. The Extra Life power-up will be located in Illinois. The Dual Thief power-up will be located in South Dakota. And Benched will be located in Massachusetts. This is what the map looks like before we start all-time college basketball imperialism. Also, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Now let's dive in in 3, 2, 1. For the first spin of the video, our team will be the Duke Blue Devils. And Duke will be headed to their southeast. And that is a matchup against Wake Forest. Less than 10 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. The Blue Devils up by seven. Kyrie will wait it out. And that will do it. The Duke Blue Devils will defeat Wake Forest. And they are moving on. And the Blue Devils will add Tim Duncan to their roster. And will take Wake Forest's land. 35 teams remaining. And our next team will be the Texas Longhorns. And the Longhorns will be headed to their northwest. And that is a matchup against the Houston Cougars. And the Houston Cougars will defeat the Texas Longhorns 35 to 28, and they are moving on in college basketball imperialism. And the Cougars will add Kevin Durant to their lineup and control all of Texas. The Longhorns have been removed from the wheel, and our next team will be the Georgia Bulldogs. And Georgia will be headed to their east. And the Bulldogs will claim South Carolina. So we've had our first expansion. And our next team will be the Arizona State Sun Devils. And they will be headed to their northwest. And that is a matchup against the Arizona Wildcats. So a seven-point game. The final seconds. And it looks like Arizona State will move on. But a great three-pointer there by Andre Iguodala. But I'm afraid they are just a little bit too late. James Harden with the final possession of the game. And the Arizona State Sun Devils will defeat the Arizona Wildcats. And they are moving on in imperialism. And the Sun Devils will add Gilbert Arenas to their roster. And control all of Arizona. Our next team on the wheel will be... Villanova. And Villanova will be headed... North. And that is a matchup against the Syracuse Orange. Villanova, very good team getting knocked out early, and that will do it. The Syracuse Orange will defeat the Villanova Wildcats 38-31, and they are moving on. And Paul Reason is now a member of the Orange, and Syracuse will now control the state of Pennsylvania. 32 teams remain, and our next team will be UCLA, and the Bruins will be headed to their southeast, and that is a matchup against USC. 15 seconds remaining here in the game. UCLA up 43-29. to 29. They have played an outstanding game. They have dominated. And they are about to defeat the USC Trojans. And that will do it. And the Bruins will add Bill Sharman to their roster. And erase the Trojans from the map. 31 teams remain. And our next team will be Maryland. And the Terrapins will be headed to their west. And that is a matchup against the Georgetown Hoyas. Well, the Hoyas defeated the Maryland Terrapins by 19 points. It was no surprise, and they are moving on in imperialism. And the Hoyas will add Steve Francis to their roster and control the state of Maryland. 30 teams remain on the wheel, and our next team will be Arkansas. And the Razorbacks will be headed to their northeast. And that is a matchup against the Memphis Tigers. Hardaway for Rose, and there is an alley-oop for Achua, and he gets it. A beautiful pass by Derrick Rose, 
and that will most likely seal the deal in Memphis, Tennessee. Beverly, a three-pointer, and he missed that one badly. And that will do it. The Memphis Tigers will defeat the Razorbacks 32-23, and they are moving on in imperialism. And the Tigers will add Sidney Moncrief to their roster and remove the Razorbacks from the map. The Razorbacks are off the wheel, and our next team will be Houston. And the Cougars will be headed to their northwest. And the Cougars will add New Mexico. Our next team will be Indiana. And the Hoosiers will be headed to their west. That arrow is pointed toward Illinois, which is the home of the Extra Life power-up. So the Hoosiers will now have two lives in imperialism. Two expansions in a row. And our next team will be the Oregon Ducks. And they will be headed to their northwest. And that is a matchup against Gonzaga. And Brandon Wool capitalized on both free throws. Five point game. Here is Jalen Suggs with the ball for Gonzaga. They need a three quick. Suggs has a lane. Doesn't go. And now Duarte with a rebound. He'll find Terrell Brandon. And he'll be fouled by Jalen Suggs. And Brandon Wool missed one. And now here's John Stockton. And he'll find Hachimura for Olenek. And now Sabonis. And now Suggs for three. Doesn't go. Bobo with a rebound. And the Oregon Ducks will pull off an upset against Gonzaga. And they are moving on in imperialism. And John Stockton is now a member of the Oregon Ducks. And the Ducks will gain control of Washington. Our next team will be North Carolina. And the Tar Heels will be headed west. And that is a matchup against the Duke Blue Devils. So two of the top teams on the map will be going head-to-head -head for control of North Carolina. 22 seconds remaining. Here is Brennan Ingram with the ball. They'll find get. And now Kyrie, 4-3. Doesn't go. Rebound by Tim Duncan. And now back from get 4-3. And it goes! It's a five-point game with 12 seconds. Darty. Looking for options. Here is Smith, and he's fouled by Kyrie Irving. Duke down seven with 11 seconds remaining. Here is Kyrie Irving, 4-3. Doesn't go, and now here's Bob McAdoo for Smith. The final seconds, and UNC will defeat the Duke Blue Devils and be the top team in North Carolina. And with the addition of Tim Duncan, the Tar Heels now have 299 overall players. And Duke will be erased from the map. 27 teams remain. And our next team will be... Kentucky or Kansas will be Kentucky. And the Wildcats will be headed... To their south. And that is a matchup against Tennessee. Well, this one was no surprise. Kentucky really showed that they are one of the best teams on the map. And they will defeat Tennessee 40-20 to and move on. And the Wildcats will add Allen Houston to the roster and erase the Volunteers from the map. 26 teams remain. And our next team will be Indiana. And the Hoosiers will be headed to their northwest. And the Hoosiers will add Iowa to their territory. Our next team on the wheel will be Georgia. And the Bulldogs will be headed to their southwest. And the Bulldogs will add the state of Alabama. Two expansions in a row. And our next team will be the Sun Devils. And they will be headed to their northwest. And that is a matchup against UNLV. And the Arizona State Sun Devils will defeat the UNLV Running Rebels 44-29. And they are moving on in imperialism. And the Sun Devils will add Sean Marion to the roster. And take control of Nevada. 25 teams remain. And our next team will be UCLA. And the Bruins will be headed to their northeast. And that is a matchup against Arizona State. And the Bruins would win by 15. Was no surprise. Kareem with a very good game. And the Bruins are moving on. And the Bruins will add James Harden to their lineup. And erase the Sun Devils from the map. The Sun Devils have been removed from the wheel. And our next team will be Houston. And the Cougars will be headed 
North. And that is a matchup against Oklahoma. Well, this one was not a surprise. Houston dominated this game, and they won by 16 points, and they are moving on in imperialism. And the Cougars will add Trey Young to their roster and take control of Oklahoma. 23 teams remain, and our next team will be the Seminoles. And they will be headed to their Northwest. And that is a matchup against Georgia Tech. Ward will wait out the final seconds as Florida State will move on. And Georgia Tech is eliminated from imperialism. And that will do it. 35-24, your final score. And the Seminoles will add Mark Price to the roster and expand their territory into Georgia. 22 teams remain. And our next team will be Florida State once again. And the Seminoles will be headed to their southeast. And that is a matchup against the Florida Gators. A minute six remaining. FSU up by one against Florida. Here is Mark Price with the ball. He'll fire a jump shot. In and out. Rebound by Joaquin Noah. And now here is Mike Miller. The crowd on their feet. He'll find Bradley Beal. A little spin move. And he gets the layup on Cassell. And FSU will call a timeout. With 52 seconds remaining. Florida up by one. And Cassell only makes one. 13 and a half seconds remaining. Here is Bradley B with the ball for Florida. He'll find Miller. A three-point shot. It goes! What a shot by Mike Miller. It's now a one-point game. And now here is Cassell. He'll be fouled by Bradley Beal with eight seconds remaining. And Cassell only makes one. Here is Noah for Haslam. For Bradley Beal. Final seconds of the game. Beal. And it doesn't go. FSU holds on. And they will defeat... The Gators and move on in imperialism. What a game. It came down to the wire. But the Seminoles will come out victorious in the end and will move on. And the Seminoles will add Bradley Beal to the roster and control all of Florida. 21 teams remain. And our next team will be Kansas. And the Jayhawks will be headed to their southeast. And that is a matchup against Houston. The final 10 seconds of the game. Kansas up 43-32 to against Houston. Houston's incredible run will come to an end. And the Kansas Jayhawks will advance to the top 20 teams in imperialism. Because Kansas already has two star centers, Kevin Durant will join the Jayhawks. And the Cougars will be erased from the map. We are down to the final 20 teams, and our next team will be Kentucky, and the Wildcats will be headed to their southeast, and that is the matchup against North Carolina. Here is Rondo, the final five seconds, Dampier now from the corner, in and out, Darty with a rebound, and the North Carolina Tar Heels will defeat the Kentucky Wildcats 41-30, to and they are moving on. In imperialism. And the Tar Heels will add Anthony Davis to the roster. And take control of Kentucky's land. Kentucky has been removed from the wheel. And our next team will be Ohio State. And the Buckeyes will be headed to their southeast. And the Buckeyes will add West Virginia to their territory. Our next team will be Indiana. And they will be headed to their northeast. And that is a matchup against Cincinnati. Well, Cincinnati will win 28-18 against Indiana. It's a big advantage for them. However, the Hoosiers still have one life remaining since the Extra Life power-up was activated. Isaiah Thomas is now a member of the Cincinnati Bearcats. And the Extra Life power-up will no longer be in effect for the Hoosiers. Our next team will be the Oregon Ducks. And the Ducks will be headed to their northeast. So the Ducks will add Idaho to their territory. Our next team will be Kansas. And the Jayhawks will be headed north. And they will claim the state of Nebraska. Our next team will be the Huskies. And Yukon will be headed to their northeast. And that arrow passes through Massachusetts. So for the next game, the Huskies will not have Ray Allen in their lineup. Three expansions in a row. And our next team will be Ohio. And the Bobcats will be headed to their northwest. 
And that is a matchup against Cincinnati, who just defeated Indiana. Three seconds remaining, and the Bearcats will win 44-32 against Ohio, and they are moving on in imperialism. And the Bearcats will add Chris Weber and erase the Bobcats from the map. 18 teams remain on the wheel, and our next team will be Memphis. And the Tigers will be headed to their southeast. And Memphis will add Mississippi to their territory. Our next team will be Georgetown. And the Hoyas will be headed to their northwest. And that is a matchup against Ohio State. And now Green, final seconds. And that will do it. The Georgetown Hoyas will defeat the Ohio State Buckeyes 39-30. And they are moving on. And the Hoyas will add John Havlick to their roster. And erase the Buckeyes from the map. Our next team will be Oregon, and the Ducks will be headed to their northeast, and they will add Montana to their territory. 17 teams remain, and our next team will be Kansas, and the Jayhawks will be headed to their west. And that is a matchup against UCLA. Paul Pierce looking for options. Durant up in the corner, he'll find JoJo White. Here is White. Kansas down 3 he'll fire a jump shot, it doesn't go rewound by Kevin Love, and now Westbrook with the ball, he'll find Sharman, and he's fouled by White, and Sharman will go 2 for 2, that was not the shot that Kansas wanted, and now the final seconds, here's Durant for 3, and it goes, with 9 tenths of a second remaining, UCLA calls a timeout, that 3 pointer by Kevin Durant comes a little bit too late, they'll foul with 3 tenths of a second remaining, but Kansas has no timeouts. If he makes this is over, Westbrook gets it. And out of final seconds, White. It's no good. And the UCLA Bruins will defeat the Kansas Jayhawks 41 to 37. And the Bruins are moving on in imperialism. It was between Will Chamberlain and Kevin Durant. But Kevin Durant will join the Bruins. And the Bruins will now own the largest territory on the map. 16 teams remain. And our next team will be Syracuse. And the Orange will be headed to their southwest. And that is a matchup against Georgetown. Well, the Hoyas dominated this game. The Orange didn't even score in the first quarter. And the Hoyas are moving on. And the Hoyas will add Carmel Anthony to their roster. And erase Syracuse from the map. 15 teams remain, and our next team will be Oregon. And the Ducks will be headed to their southwest. And that is a matchup against California. The final seconds will tick down. California will win 29-20 against Oregon. And they are moving on in imperialism. And the Golden Bears will add John Stockton to their roster. And the Golden Bears will inherit all of Oregon's land. The Ducks are off the wheel, and our next team will be the Memphis Tigers. And they will be headed to their southeast. And that will be a matchup against Georgia. And the Georgia Bulldogs will defeat the Memphis Tigers 37-27. to And they will move on in imperialism. And Penny Hardaway will join the Georgia Bulldogs. And our next team will be LSU. And the Tigers will be headed to their northeast. And that is a matchup against Georgia who just defeated Memphis. Georgia was up by 10 points entering the fourth quarter. And LSU has come back to get within one. Here is Maravich off the backboard. And it doesn't go. He's been struggling all night. And now Penny Hardaway with the ball for Georgia. Just acquired from Memphis. And now Wilkins in the post. Guarded by Simmons. Wilkins fires. Doesn't go. And now Pettit for Simmons. 23 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Ben Simmons trying to get around Jarvis Hayes. Simmons for Maravich. Guarded by Caldwell Pope. And now a screen by Pettit. Maravich. Fires a jump shot. It doesn't go beyond by Hayes. And he's fouled by Shaq with nine seconds remaining. He missed the first one. But gets the second. It's a two-point game and LSU calls a timeout. Crowd on their feet. Nine seconds remaining. Here is Mohamed abdul Rahf with the ball for LSU. Five seconds remaining. Here is Shaq now in the post. And now Marich for three. And he gets it to go with 1.6 seconds remaining. LSU up by one. Georgia just needs two points to win. Here is Hardaway. Fires a three. It's no good. And LSU 
comes with the victory. They were down 10, entering the fourth quarter, and Pete Maravich with the game winner to give the Tigers the win. And they will move on in imperialism. And the Tigers will add Dominic Wilkins to their roster and erase the Bulldogs from the map. So Georgia is off the wheel, and our next team will be Georgetown. And the Hoyas will be headed to their southeast. And the Hoyas will add Delaware to their territory. And our next team will be Yukon. And the Huskies will be headed to their northeast. And they will add Rhode Island to their territory. Two expansions in a row, and our next team will be Cal. And they will be headed to their northeast. And they will add North Dakota to their territory. The next team will be the Huskies. And this time they will be headed to their northwest. And the Huskies will add Vermont. Our next team will be North Carolina. And the Tar Heels will be headed to their southwest. And that is a matchup against LSU. Crowd on their feet. Worthy. Guarded by Abdul Rauf. Ten to go on the shot clock. Here is Cunningham and now Jordan. Guarded by Shaq. Michael Jordan. Step back and intercepted by Maravich. Here is Pete Maravich with the ball for LSU. Trying to get some points on the board. Now Shaq with the ball. And it goes. One point game with 20 seconds remaining. And now LSU will foul. Here is Jordan. Fouled by Abdul Rauf. Here is Michael Jordan with the ball. He's fouled by Maravich, so Jordan will shoot two, looking for his first points of the game. And Jordan goes one for two. LSU calls a timeout, a two-point game with 15 seconds remaining. Here is Dominic Wilkins with the ball. He'll find Abdul Rauf. LSU with one timeout remaining, UNC with none. Here is Abdul Rauf, a pass for Shaq in the post. Guard by McAdoo. Shaq, double-teamed, looking for options. Time running down on a jump ball. With three seconds remaining. The ball is in the air. One by Shaq. Here is Pettit. He'll fire a shot. Doesn't go. And that will do it. The Tar Heels will hang on by the thread to defeat LSU. And they will move on in imperialism. And UNC will add Shaq to their roster. And erase the Tigers from the map. And our next team will be Cincinnati. And they will be headed to their southeast. And that is a matchup against UNC, who just defeated LSU. Well, the Tar Heels will defeat the Cincinnati Bearcats 31-14, and they are moving on in imperialism. And the Tar Heels will add Oscar Robertson to their roster. And we are now down to 10 teams remaining in imperialism. These are now the top 10 teams left in imperialism, and our next team will be Marquette. And the Golden Eagles will be headed to their west. And they will claim the state of Minnesota. Our next team will be Marquette once again. And this time they'll be headed to their south. And that is a matchup against Indiana. Even without Isaiah Thomas, Indiana will defeat Marquette by 10 points. And they are moving on in imperialism. And Indiana will add Dwayne Wade to the roster. And take over Marquette's land. Our next team will be Indiana. And they will be headed to their northwest. And Indiana will claim their second power-up of the video. So they will be claiming the dual thief power-up. Our next team will be Indiana once again. And Indiana will be headed to their northwest once again. And that is a matchup against the Golden Bears, so the Hoosiers will play their second consecutive game, this time against Cal. 30 seconds remaining, Indiana up by two. Here is Wade, and I'll find OG and Anubi. And Anubi for McGinnis, and now Oladipo. Victor Oladipo. And now Dwayne Wade, he'll fire at a three-pointer. And he doesn't get it. And Anubi with the rebound. And he doesn't get it. And Cal will call a timeout with 13 seconds remaining. It's their final timeout. Here's John Stockton with the ball for Cal. They're down two. No timeouts left. Now Jalen Brown guarded by Ananubi. Brown fires and it doesn't go. And now Ananubi. He's fouled by Jalen Brown with three seconds left. And Indiana calls a timeout. And this will most likely seal the deal. And he does. It will be a four-point lead for Indiana. Here is Stockton. And that shot does not go. And Indiana will defeat the Golden Bears 37-33. to And they are moving on to the Elite Eight. With a dual thief power-up, Indiana will add John Stockton and Jalen Brown to their roster. And will take over Cal's land. Eight teams remaining, and our next team will be Michigan State. And the Spartans will be headed to their west. 
And that is a matchup against Indiana. And the Hoosiers will lose by 9 points to the Spartans. And Michigan State will move on in Imperialism. And the Spartans will add Dwayne Wade to the roster. And take over Indiana's hard-fought land. We are down to 7 teams in Imperialism. And our next team will be Georgetown. And the Hoyas will be headed to their east. And they will claim New Jersey. Our next team will be Florida State. Since they are surrounded by North Carolina, they have no choice but to play UNC. Well, this was not a surprise. UNC just dominated in this game. And they are now one of the top six teams remaining in all-time college basketball imperialism. And the Tar Heels will add Dave Cohens to the roster. And will now control all of the southeast region of the United States. Our next team will be Louisville for the first time. And the Cardinals will be headed to their northeast. And that arrow just passes through Michigan State's territory before it hits UNC. So the Cardinals and the Spartans will be our next matchup. Donovan Mitchell hits a three. And that will do it. The Michigan State Spartans will defeat the Louisville Cardinals 41-32. And they are moving on in imperialism with five teams remaining. And with that, Donovan Mitchell is now a member of the Michigan State Spartans. And the Spartans will gain control of Louisville's territory. Our next team will be Georgetown. And the Hoyas will be headed to their northeast. And that will be a matchup against UConn. And the Huskies will be without Ray Allen for this game since they have the bench consequence. Well, this is a surprise. Georgetown with a 47-24 win over UConn. And they are moving on to the final four in imperialism. So the Hoyas will add Ray Allen to their roster and expand their empire. We are down to the final four teams in imperialism. And our next team will be Michigan State. And the Spartans will be headed to their southeast. And that era passes through Missouri before it hits UNC's territory. So the Spartans will add Missouri to their territory. Our next team will be Michigan State once again. And this time, they will be headed to their southwest. And that is a matchup against the UCLA Bruins. Well, this was not a surprise. UCLA dominated this game. And they win 43-27. to And they are now one of the last three teams remaining in imperialism. And the Bruins will add Magic Johnson to their roster, who is now their second 99 overall player. And UCLA now controls all of the West and erase Michigan State. From the map. Three teams remain. And our next team will be North Carolina. And the Tar Heels will be headed. To their northeast. And that is a matchup against Georgetown. Which means UCLA will be awaiting the winner in the finals. Well UNC just annihilated the Hoyas. And they are moving on to the finals to play UCLA. It's going to be a good one. But first, the Tar Heels will add Allen Iverson to the roster and erase the Hoyas from the map. From 36 teams to the final two, UCLA and UNC. This wheel spin will determine who is the home team for the final game. And the home team will be North Carolina. 25 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Here is Allen Iverson with the ball for UNC. Iverson. Now a screen by Davis. He'll fire the shot. Iverson gets it to go. Ten seconds remain. Here is Baron Davis. He'll fire a shot. And now rebound there by Darty. And now here's Allen Iverson. The final seconds in the championship game. And the UNC Tar Heels will defeat the UCLA Bruins 44-26. And they are your Imperialism champions. UNC was 7-0 in Imperialism. And they definitely deserved the title. And they are your champions in all-time college basketball imperialism. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.